I mean, three games, all three games you would have two nothing. I think. The frustrating is there any you can point to as far as that goes, or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think our starts definitely haven't been, been the greatest. Uh, and I think, I think we just kind of, kind of just got to keep it simple early and not really try and cheat for offense, and that's what caused us to, you know, go down and make the just all that much. So I think if we just kind of just keep it simple early, and you know, I think we've been playing well, and we've been the better team for pretty much all the games. Uh, so I think if we just kind of keep it simple early, I think that would just really help us. And kind of just getting the first ball is really big for us, just to get a confidence booster and you know, not, try to, not try to chase the game. You guys really haven't had a whole lot of time to start playing with the league this year. I think you had that in the third period, the first time you had a league like the Nation this year. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's still early in the year. And, you know, I think that third period's probably been some of our best periods. And then we've been, you know, able to last two games to come back from a 2 0 lead. And, uh, you know, I ended up winning the game in Saturday, but lost here tonight. Uh, yeah, I think just kind of as the game goes on, and we're really kind of going to keep that one. Just kind of get on them and generate offense. So I think, you know, we've done a good job, and you know, they're still up to uh, what to do. How much energy is that? Just trying to call me back and something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, it's not, it's not what you want to do. You don't want to be coming back in a game, and it's, it's much better when you're, you're playing with the lead, and that, you know, just brings you confidence. So, you know, I think sometimes you can be a little, uh, a little unmotivated when you're, uh, when you're down to nothing and having I mean, a game so far. So, I think just being able to, to have a lead, and I think that just kind of energizes the team and gives us confidence to, just kind of keep playing in and not get the Our plays, for the most part, were pretty good because we had a little over two minute range down the next three minutes. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's, it's early in the season as I mentioned before. And I think power plays one thing that you kind of really got to just work on a lot and just it takes a little bit more time to gel and just get used to the touches. I mean, you know, a lot of us haven't really played much power play for two years, so I think just kind of kind of working on getting the touches in and the guys seem to go on and be able to, to capitalize on the more when we need it. Um, but yeah, I think there's definitely some, some chances we had today's game that we definitely needed to capitalize in this real Can you talk about line chemistry? Is there such a thing as chemistry in the line? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think for sure. Um, and just kind of knowing where other guys will be and that's one thing, just like the scenes and just kind of certain things that we like to run like that takes some, uh, some getting used to. Um, so I guess it's even longer enough to get more confident and kind of know where that's a little bit better. I mean, down to nothing on 3D, you come back and at least tie it up a little bit, or you came back to tie it up a little bit too, too, and that's the same kind of Yeah, yeah, definitely. It just kind of shows how, you know, we don't quit, and, you know, we're able to come back when we won't give up when we're down. So I just kind of in that sense, I think it's a big positive that we came back from 2 nothing leads in the past two games, and been able to take it over time in, in both games, we were able to get the the last one we weren't able to get one today, but uh, yeah, I think it definitely shows a lot of our group. We don't really give up and we just kind of push through it. Does it make you feel frustrated that you got you know, sitting here with three points after three games, or in some ways, do you feel frustrated to sit here with three points after three games? Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely frustrating. And, you know, we want to be coming out of the first week and three wins, but you know, I think it's it's still early in the season. And I think, you know, overall, I think we've been the better team for all three games. And I think, uh, just kind of as the season goes on, I think we'll be able to tighten things up, and I think we won't, we won't have games like this that we're you not know, probably a better team. So, yeah, I think, I think it's good we were able to come back from the lead and we didn't grab three points in the last two games, but uh, yeah, I think there's still a lot to improve. How does it sort of sit there for a meet round shooter? Yeah, I mean, you know, you just want to win, and just kind of as, as it goes on, you're just hoping that the, uh, we can get one more goal. and we're able to finish it off, but you know, we're running with the capitalize of the big goal. Uh, so yeah, I, it's pretty frustrating just hoping to get one more goal, but you know, we can work with this. In the international, when you come back and shoot up in the first round or whatever, you know, you come back and shoot shot at it? Yeah, I think that would be, that would be interesting. Um, I think it would be pretty fun and we need to see cool things, but you know, there's a lot of good shooters on this team, so I think they're trying to get score and shoot out. So. It's funny, I mean, does it feel weird to be the first guy to tap up the bench for a shooter? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, been a, it's been a while since my rookie year, and I guess that was about the last time for any reason. Um, so I think just kind of feel good just to you know, have the trust in the coaches to, to be able to be put up there. And you know, all I want to do is help the team win, so I really wish I got that one. And 
think I could have been the deal breaker for the game. So, perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Mr. Friday, but congrats on the first one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, the boys. Really good, uh, good game. Really put you through the range this week. Yeah. We made it tough, but at least they played. I mean, you know, you're, you're three games in, you're down 2 nothing all three games. You're four times in here with three points, or do you feel frustrated with three times in the game? Frustrated, you know. It seems that, you know, when we let that first one in, it kind of takes the air out of the bench, and I feel like I feel like I'm cheerleading a bit for a while there, just trying to get the boys back into it. So, but I, I mean, I gotta think that after three games now, you know, we've been the better period, a better team for about six to seven periods, you know, and in all the games combined. Um, but again, it's just little mistakes here that, you know, it's early in the year, we're gonna tighten up, but I thought we'd play a good hockey game tonight. Talking about it, I mean, when you have a five out of three, most people think that should be an automatic, but it, what's it like trying to find five guys, and then you juggle guys around here and there, trying to find five guys that you feel confident in the five on three? Because I think you played well, a little different than you were five on four, right? And you went five four, and you got one four. Yeah, we did. Um, it's funny you say that, because when I went to the NHL with the coach, or the season I did, I went in saying the same thing, five on three is automatic, especially when I played with it. The St. Louis Blues went three years with a five on three goal before I was there last year, and they ended up scoring, not because of me, but anyways, because of doing different things. But we're going to try different things. I mean, when you get a five on three, you got, you got to be ready. We had a little video from last night. We had good looks. We had a couple of tap that never went in. But, again, it's a work, but it, you really do want to capitalize five on three, especially with the time we had on it. But, you know, we didn't, but we stayed with it. I mean, Doug, you come back all three games, and then you were playing like the third game or fourth game or whatever, two or five games, so, I mean, that speaks something too, doesn't it? Well, it does. I mean, we got we got good character guys in that room, and, and you know, we I think we've handled the schedule well for them too. We gave them a lot of days off, some rest in between, and and I think we expect you know that they're going to get back. And we they have they've worked hard, and there's no question you can't question the work ethic. You know, we've had a couple periods you know that maybe weren't our best because of just getting used to some system stuff. But besides that, I, I'm happy with the way we play. How's your shootout this week? Uh, have you had much chance to work with who's going to be your shooter? Or? Well, we've only done two shootouts now in practice, so I think we'll work on it a little more. But, <laughs> but we knew we knew our guys are our top three coming in. We didn't think it would go. I don't know how many go. Eight, eight, eight guys. So we didn't know our top eight. We knew our top three, and then after that, it was just kind of pick and choose who's hot, who's not, and um, kind of went like that. So we'll work on it a little more. Just, it's good to do it at the other practice a lot, just to, just to get a feel for what we got.